The funky Renault Megane Vision concept car from last fall spawned its production version this week at the Munich Auto Show. Called the Megane E-Tech Electric in production guys, the electric compact crossover goes on sale in markets, where Renault operates starting in 2022. Unfortunately, the US isn't one of them. It's not all bad news as the Megane E-Tech Electric is based on the CMFF modular platform for future battery electric vehicles from the Renault-Nissan-Mitsubishi Alliance, and we'll see the platform locally in the slightly larger Nissan Ariya crossover due out later this year as a 2022 model. The Megane E-Tech Electric and best be described as a tallish hatch, similar to the recently revealed Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Chevrolet Bolt U though like those vehicles it is being marketed as a crossover. The vehicle isn't a replacement for the current Megane hatchback, however. Instead it forms part of an extended Megane family. The vehicle will be offered with battery sizes of 40 and 60 kilowatt hours. The latter should deliver a range approaching 200 miles on a charge. Charging at up to 130 kilowatts is possible, and the driver also has four levels of brake energy regeneration to choose from, with the selection done via paddles behind the steering wheel. Power comes from a single electric motor, though Renault hasn't said whether the motor is mounted at the front axle or rear. What we do know is that two outputs will be on offer, with the more potent of these coming in at 214 horsepower and 221 pounds foot of torque. This should see the Megane E-Tech Electric hit 62 miles per hour from rest in about 7.4 seconds. The Megane E-Tech Electric isn't the only EV planned by Renault. The French automaker is also developing a subcompact hatch previewed by the five prototype unveiled in January and billed as the spiritual successor to the classic R5, known as the Leaker in the US. This one is due in 2024. Renault has peeled the covers off the Megane E-Tech Electric, a 292-mile family F, but that will play a crucial role in its bold Renaultian transformation strategy at Munich Motor Show. Built in Douai in northern France, where the aim is to produce 400,000 EVs per year, the Peugeot E2008 rival features a skateboard-style battery arrangement and is the first Renault to run on the Alliance's CMFF platform, following the Nissan Ariya. The brand is hoping to build on the electric success it has enjoyed with the Zoe, since that car was launched a decade ago, one in five Renaults sold in Europe has been electric. The E-Tech comes with a choice of two power outputs for the electric motor, 128 bhp and 215 bhp, and two battery sizes, 40 kilowatt hours and 60 kilowatt hours. Claimed range is 186 and 292 miles respectively, while the quickest variant will manage 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.4 sec. With the optional 130 kilowatts DC charging, it's possible to charge the battery from 15 to 80 percent in 30 minutes. Towing up to 900 kilograms is also possible. With a multi-link rear axle, a Macpherson strut front arrangement and a faster steering rack, the Megane E-Tech Electric promises best-in-class handling. Weight-saving measures have been applied across the car. At 1,624 kg, for the biggest battery variant, it's at the lower end of the weight spectrum in its class, thanks to aluminium doors and an electrically excited synchronous motor, ESM, that's 10% lighter than that of the Zoe. An 8-pole arrangement in the motor also uses 45% less copper. Weight is also part of the reason why Renault made the Megane E-Tech electric front-wheel drive. Without having to run cabling and cooling to the rear, the French firm argues it has managed to shave vital kilograms from the car. At 110 mm deep, the water-cooled battery pack is claimed to be the thinnest on the market, helping to give the car a lower center of gravity, 90 mm less than the combustion-powered Megane hatchback, and improved practicality inside. The exterior draws heavily on the Megane Vision concept from 2020. 
Although the Mega e Tech Electric features Renault's familiar C-shaped headlights, it gains an additional design flourish, where the lower section of the C has been extended to run a reverse line of light along the top of the bumper. The nose is dominated by Renault's new corporate badge, which harks back to the Art Deco style from the 1970s, while the rear lights feature a 3D effect LED arrangement as part of the new sensual tech on the new car. Flush fitting door handles are standard across the range, electric on the front, manual on the rear. Lower spec cars get 18 inches alloys wheels, and top spec models get 20 inches items. Although the EV is still recognizably related to the ICE Megane, its wheels have been pushed to the extremities, lengthening its wheelbase by 20 mm to 2,700 mm and leading to greater passenger space, further helped by the flat floor that's possible as a result of the floor-mounted battery. Overall, the car is shorter than its ICE namesake, thanks to reduced front and rear overhangs. Inside, the new open R screen dominates, an L-shaped arrangement featuring a 12.3 inches instrument display and a 12.3 inches infotainment touchscreen, complete with integrated air vents, physical controls remain for the climate control. It runs Google's Android operating system, meaning Google Maps, Google Assistants, with voice control, and Google Play are all standard. Thanks to anti-glare coatings on the screens, Renault claims it can afford to ditch the binnacle around the screen, leading to a clean look that needs none of the traditional shielding. Renault is keen to emphasize the sustainability of the interior's materials. While top-spec models come with leather, others get fabric seats made from 100% recycled plastic. A decorative wood finish, dubbed Nuo, is used around the dashboard and doors.